You were born in the decade when Alfred Hitchcock made us holler in fright at the screen during his famous psycho shower scene, and the Rolling Stones made us scream until our throats were sore. Cities began to grow increasingly larger, and FCC aspired to greater things when it started to build El Corte Inglés department stores in major cities across the country. Fact is, FCC has been a part of us for some time now. It all started in the year 1900, a year in which the people of Spain wanted to start the new century with their best foot forward. And we contributed with our own tiny grain of sand, or stone as it turned out, helping to pave the streets of major cities across the country. It was an era of progress and industrialization, with workers flooding into the cities from the countryside. As a result, metropolises grew very quickly, leading to the need to manage the resulting waste products through adequate sanitation systems. That's where FCC came in. In 1911, it started to forge a name for itself as a municipal services provider of repute, which with time extended into other services that were provided to an increasing number of cities, both nationally and abroad. The entire world was advancing in giant leaps and bounds, and proof of this could be found in the world's fairs that were held, such as the 1929 Universal Exhibition in Barcelona that FCC helped to build. Constructing the hotels and accommodation to create the Metropolitan District, which is now Barcelona's Las Ramblas quarter. After wartime, we set back to work, rebuilding and creating new factories that would help to lift the country out of post-war depression. And as the world advanced, we continued to work hard to stay ahead of the game, building mile after mile of railway and underground rail track, building Spain's first modern motorway and erecting Seat's first car manufacturing facility, which produced the famous 600 models that used to carry us to the seaside each summer as if we were traveling to the moon. And just when we thought we couldn't reach any higher, Neil Armstrong came along and opened our eyes to just how far away we were from the pinnacle of achievement. So we kept on working just as hard. In our eagerness to provide the best service possible to the general public, we chose to provide it too for the most basic resource of them all, the integrated management of the water system. This was the seed that years later grew into FCC Aqualia, a division of FCC that currently provides this basic service to over 25 million people across four continents. From 1975 onwards, Spain began to look beyond its borders, and so did we as we won the first overseas civil engineering project on a massive scale in Tripoli, Libya. And shortly afterwards, through the provision of municipal services, such as the public contracts for the municipal cleaning and waste collection services in other countries. As the walls were coming down, we were building bridges, such as the bridges over Spain's Ebro River, or the bridges that facilitated access to Seville's Expo 1992, where we also built pavilions for Catalonia, Italy, and Puerto Rico. With the arrival of the year 2000 came further changes. There was a change of millennium, a change of currency, and a change of mindset among people in general. Along came a new and heightened awareness of the importance of collaboration and cooperation, helping people to conduct themselves responsibly when it came to recycling, and collaborating with us in the maintenance of green zones in over 50 cities to ensure that every day the world could become a better place than when we found it. All of this effort was duly rewarded when FCC Aqualia was selected as the best water management company in the world, which in turn opened many doors to new international projects, such as the construction and management of a water treatment system in Cairo, or the water supply system in Mexico. In recent years, we have been actively involved in environmentally sensitive schemes in countries such as Romania and Bulgaria, as well as taking part in the construction of the 2012 Eurovision Palace and the communication headquarters of the London 2012 Olympics, showcasing our dedication as an example of how to contribute to the people's spirit. We did all of this while still continuing to work on projects designed to promote city advancement, such as the new underground metro railway lines that we are going to build in Riyadh, one of Spain's biggest overseas civil engineering projects to date. And yet today we continue to strive to make everyone's lives easier by evolving towards smarter cities that will allow us to automatically control city lighting, optimize traffic lights, even generate plant seeds that need less water to grow. This video began by talking about you and about the first decade of your life. It ends with the focus on you once again, since the future that awaits you, your future, is inextricably tied to ours, because today, more than ever, we are in this together. FCC. We're in it together.